Volvo, despite the success of its recently introduced XC90, is not ready to give up on the wagon market. That's hardly surprising, as Volvo has been building wagons since the introduction of the Duet in 1953. Wagons have always comprised a big part of Volvo sales. In the early 1970s, the company even built the 1800S, a wagon version of its only sports car, the P1800. In America, the wagons almost seemed to define the brand. They appealed to drivers who wanted a safe, comfortable, and practical vehicle while displaying an ostentatious affluence, another concept that seems to be in terminal decline. Volvo's commitment to this market will be demonstrated by the introduction of the 2018 V90 at some point next year. This is the wagon version of the new S90 luxury sedan that is going on sale this July. The wagon is mechanically identical, which means the same scalable product architecture SPA, platform with a control arm front suspension, a multi-link setup and back with a transverse leaf spring, and a 115.8-inch wheelbase. The styling and many of the body panels of the S90 also are shared, with the inevitable departures in the roof and aft of the front doors. The key dimensional differences are in length, the wagon is, surprisingly, shorter by 1.2 inches, due to less rear overhang, and height, the wagon's extent.